Aha! So today we're in the garden. And I'm going to have to do work as well. I had ordered some wood from these fucking neighbours. Excuse my French. Uh, they let me down and they haven't delivered it. So I'm going to have to chop up these old pallets that I've got in my garden using this electric chainsaw, which I am. Um, I'm highly suspicious of this old bastard, to be honest with you, because it was bought second hand and it's a bit, it's a bit cack. Um, it's got an Oregon blade on it, though, which is nice and tight. The, the tension on the chain is good. The kerf on the blade is, 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 is filed. I've got a saw set I can show you, which is all good in here. That's Jimmy, by the way, he's a little sweetie. Uh, I've got a saw set up here that I keep somewhere. Here it is. Um, which is, which is, a, you know, that, that in there is um, all the sharpening tools and bits and bobs that you need. I'll show it to you. Why not? Let's do it. Let's, let's have it out. Let's have it out, mate. Let's have a look at it. It's, um, it's a decent bit of kit, this actually. I can't remember where I've got it from now. But it's got all the tools that you need to sharpen up a chainsaw. Files and uh, round files. That's to hold the chain whilst you're filing it. That's to, to, to adjust the chain setter so that's good a good bit of gear um so anyway i'm going to plug this old bugger in we've got to make sure it's topped up with oil first because the oil is vital because if there's no oil in there obviously the chain will lock and it will kick out and might come off the runners and try and kill you now there's plenty of oil in there can you see that can you see that there's loads of oil in there it's all done i always keep my tools um nice and tight when it comes down to maintenance but that's your that's your set that's your upside so i've got 2200 watts the only thing i don't like about this operation is that i'm working alone and if anything happens <laughs> i've only got a uh, little jimmy to drive me to hospital never do this i swear never do this normally but i'm so sodding frustrated also, you've got to watch out because these pallets are packed with sodding nails. Can you see those? These metal bits, that will kick the chain off. So I've got to make sure I cut well away from them. And, uh, and well, I'll show you another video. This is part one. I'll show you another video, hopefully with both my hands on, on the ends of my arms sort of thing. And, I'll, uh, <laughs> and, and I'll, I'll do that later. Anyway, blessings. Thanks for watching this, this old rubbish. All the, all the best to you. That's Jimmy. You're gonna you're gonna be supervisor, mate. Oi, Jimbers, you're gonna supervise the whole show. You have to drive me to hospital if anything goes wrong, mate. Bop. Did you hear that? That's funny. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, there you go. Cheers.